Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Nikki Cosgrove. As a bit of a brief background to myself, I am the cybersecurity strategist for international markets at uh, Proofpoint. Uh, here, I really drive product marketing strategy across European and Asia Pacific markets, and I regularly provide expertise on key regional cybersecurity issues that our customers face um, across a number of different verticals, channels, uh, industries. Uh, what really motivates me in my role is knowing that the work that I do each and every day is making a difference in helping secure organizations and in helping people stay protected from the sophisticated and evolving threats that we're all seeing today. And if we look at today's attack landscape, it's primarily targeting people in a variety of ways across different channels with different objectives in mind. And to understand how best to protect people from these attacks, we must first understand that it is indeed people that are being attacked, not infrastructure, not devices, but individuals. And so I help companies understand how and why and when these people are being targeted, who these organizations most targeted people are. And you know, this is still a relatively new concept when we're looking at cybersecurity and assessing cyber risk. Specific to cybersecurity, there's currently a huge, significant skills gap where there's an estimated almost 3 million unfilled positions globally. Now, if you look at the global workforce, women make up half of that workforce and yet represent just the fifth of the global cybersecurity workforce. And so to protect those end users that are being targeted by criminals, and in addition to fill the skills gap that we currently have in cybersecurity, I fundamentally believe that businesses must be reflective of that wider workforce. We simply can't bridge the skill shortage in technology and in particular in cybersecurity without women. In addition, you know, this failure to build diverse teams can lead to a very narrow-minded approach to protection. We can make dangerous assumptions around, you know, the efficacy of our training programs. We can make dangerous decisions around what we should be educating these targeted people on. And so cybersecurity is not just about protecting those networks and the data as I described earlier, but Fundamentally, it's about protecting people. And we need to make sure that as diverse as our organizations are and the people that work within them, our cybersecurity teams need to reflect that diversity too. And so I've worked my way personally through a variety of roles, first as an analyst at Canalys and Forrester Research, developing a deep understanding of the challenges that CISOs face and in helping to develop their roadmaps and strategies to protect against those challenges. And based on my experience from Canalis and Forrester and now at Proofpoint, you know, my recommendation to women looking to enter the cybersecurity space would be, first of all, put your hand up, get involved, join those technical sessions. There's so much that's taking place online right now. There's so much that's virtual that there's never been a better time to just take part, attend those hackathons, attend those sessions and you know, start to get a view of what the cybersecurity space looks like. The second thing I'd recommend is networking. You know, there's a plethora of networking events. Again, a lot of it virtual right now. We're hearing from industry experts that we've never had access to before. It's never been a perfect time for anybody really to network. And you know, a third thing that I've learned from my experience is you may not have the skills right now. <laughs> you may feel that you don't have all of the check boxes right now in a specific job application but or in a specific role. But, you know, what, what I've seen is that you should just do it. Just go for it. And most things can be learned on the job as long as you have that curiosity, as long as you have that drive, that grit, that determination, you know, go for it and you probably will figure it out. And then my final recommendation would be to build your brand, you know, shout about your successes internally, externally, blog, write, you know, join podcasts, join webinars, share your opinion, because by building your brand, you're putting yourself out there and, you know, you're much more likely to get noticed for that next role. 
So I'm really proud to continue to promote the value that diverse teams bring in protecting organizations, bring in, you know, really trying to limit the effectiveness of the attacks that we're seeing in the space right now. And it's an almost impossible task to achieve if we don't have diverse teams. And this is why things like this virtual series with TechX are really vital because it's important to promote these diver diverse voices um, to give the inspiration to others watching that, yeah, I can do this. <laughs> it's paramount that organizations really start harnessing that powerful female professionals that they have within their organizations because only by doing that can we effectively and ultimately protect our businesses against these people-based cyber risks.